No Georgia flag is flown over many government buildings here in Valdosta and Lowndes County, Georgia. I want you to know that on behalf of all the airmen stationed at Moody Air Force Base, disabled, retired, and deceased military veterans. It is indeed disrespectful, in my opinion, when the Georgia state flag is not flown. As a retired military veteran myself from the Vietnam era, I have been trying for years to understand how could I elected officials in Valdosta and Lowndes County not fly the Georgia flag over the place where people come expecting to receive justice from the honorable judges, from the honorable judges who preside here over probate courts, magistrate courts, superior courts, and in some cases, maybe the federal building or federal courts. But there is no Georgia flag. And I'm going to continue to say it if no other military active duty person or retired military person or if no parents of deceased military veterans who were their children, if they cannot see that this is disrespect, well, then I'm telling you, our government is really in a bad state of affair. I will continue posting these, even if you, the public, will not join those that are in uniform. Peace be unto you. Bye-bye. We gone. Greetings, this is the Get To Free Press. Today is March the 6th, 2019. I am in Bainbridge, Georgia, and I'm facing the City Hall in Bainbridge. And as you can see, unlike Valdosta and Lyons County, they are honoring the veterans of the state of Georgia, the re retired, disabled, as well as the National Guard personnel that serve this nation by flying the Georgia state flag. This is something that is not being done over City Hall in Valdosta. The Southern Judiciary, the courthouse in Lowndes County, the museum and in uh, the city annex, they do not fly the Georgia flag. I want to commend Bainbridge for showing respect to those active duty military personnel as well as those who've given their lives in the defense of our freedoms here in the United States of America. I'm standing here in Center Square in Bainbridge, and I want you to know and see how city to city, town to town, county to county, you see a lot of love, you see a lot of historic monuments to carry on, the tradition of our beloved nation and state. And so uh, when I left Tallahassee this morning, I was heading back to Valdosta and I said, why not pay a visit to Bainbridge? I've been here many years ago and I thought I would come back today. Back then I was not doing to get to free press. So if you never get to Bainbridge, we are in this heart of the little town of Bainbridge and it's not that small. But uh, it's a nice little city, a nice town. You can see people are cleaning there. And this seemed like a monumental uh, park here. And I say that because it has so much Confederate uh, information here. Uh, there is that southern statue that we always see in most all the southern towns. And, of course, you know that it's uh, celebrating the history 
of the South and the Confederate. And all we can do is look at it and thank God for our nation through suffering and bloodshed as well as death. That the good people of America, of all nationalities, came together to make a be America a better place, to be more respected around the world. If you'll notice, there is no Georgia state flag. And it seems to me that that would be a Georgia state flag there, but be that as it may. Now, again, over there, a distance, the courthouse looks like. And once again, unlike the courthouse in Valdosta and Lyons County, they have a flag for the state of Georgia, which represents and honor our active duty, reserve forces, retired, disabled, the parents whose children deceased in combat or died in natural disasters as they tried to serve the communities here in the United States of America. This is all we are about. We believe in the truth. People may criticize what I'm saying. They may criticize what I do. But in the final analysis, according to St. Matthew 24, 35, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word would stand forever, saith Jesus the Christ, on behalf of his Father, whatever name you want to call him, whether you want to believe in him or not, truth is the truth. Truth will always be the truth. Once again, this is the Get To Free Press, George Boston Ryan reporting in Bainbridge, Georgia. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. As I said before, I've been in Warrington, Georgia. And of course in Warrington, just like here, they have a lot of Confederate information. There's no need of destroying it. No one should want this history destroyed. No one, in my opinion. It is a part of history, and we must remember what took place here in the United States of America and how black people were enslaved, stripped of their name, their God, their culture, their religion, their self-respect, don't even have the language of their mother. Other words, they cannot speak their mother tongue. When people come from Ireland, they speak whatever dialect. When they come from Japan, the Germans came from, they never gave up their language. They never gave up their names. It was not taken away from them. And then they tell black man, woman, and children. Today, if you don't like it here, you can go back. Well, when black folk tried to run away from the plantations and tried to get back to Africa, because that's the home that they knew, they murdered them, they lynched them. Night riders came and punished them and put their behind right back on the plantation, working for the white man for nothing. And in some cases, they worked for black folks as well because blacks had slaves too. But the truth must be told so all the lies can be exposed. Once again, to get to free press, I retired from the United States Armed Forces and it was not easy. I came confront, I confronted a lot of racism in the military. And you can expect that today, you young people, nothing has changed. If you live in a black house, you can expect to catch hell on the backside of heaven. Once again, I'm in Bainbridge, Georgia. Y'all have a nice day. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Greetings. I'm George Foster Rines, and yesterday I stood before Valdosta City Council, Mayor, and the citizens that were present. I talked about how Valdosta and Lyons County, Georgia refuses to fly the Georgia flag. Now, this may be a small, small issue to many of you, the American people, but 
I will continue to talk about it because when your son reaches the age of 18, they are required by law to register. So if there's a war going on, they would be considered to go put their life on the line to defend this country, uh, both against foreign and domestic enemies. And so I'm going to continue to say it, whether it be on behalf of the parents whose children die on foreign lands or people just sitting around waiting to see if their son or daughter will return back from overseas assignments. So I have a responsibility as a retired military veteran that cares to speak truth to power even though the base commander at Moody Air Force Base, the wing commander or group commander, or the Joint Chiefs of Staff, or the Department of Justice, or the governor of the state of Georgia, all turn thumbs down on our children until there is a Veterans Day, wherein they stand, talk about how much they love and respect our veterans, but when it comes down to flying a flag that represents our children, they turn deaf ear. Our elected officials seem like the military people are not important. I'm standing in front of the Valdosta, Lowndes County Regional Library on the north side of town. And as you can see, there is no Georgia state flag. This is across the city and county of Lowndes County. For at least two or three years, I have presented this to all elected officials, directly or indirectly, or on Boston GBR on YouTube and Facebook. Well, again, if no elected official, if no retired military veteran, if no active duty military personnel, even one station at Air Force Base, if they cannot stand up for the people in uniform, I will continue. I took an oath and obligation during the Vietnam War to defend this country from both foreign and domestic enemies, to put my life on the line, not to take any benefits, special favors, or anything from the enemy. And if I become in a leadership position and my superior should fall even on the battlefield, that I will assume that position and be willing to die for this country. And so now that I'm back home, I'm retired, I'm safe and secure here in Valdosta because that's where I chose to retire. Why should I not stand up for the young black veterans that are too often shot down by police officers for nothing? As a veteran, this local law enforcement agency in Valdosta, Lyons County, have me under a criminal trespass five years and 10 months. And I violated no law. And nobody in Valdosta, Lyons County, the state of Georgia, will even remove me. It is a disgrace, and everybody cannot go to sleep with the wheel. I'm going to continue to talk about this. And I'm hoping that one day, some mother or father will produce some American citizen that will see the need as they sit on government bodies to say to our children in uniform, we respect you and we are not happy with the Georgia State flag not being flown with the United States flag. And yet, even most sick, and check this, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait say this. Do you not know that the reserve forces in Georgia, those who are called up to serve in natural disasters, those sons and daughters who come and put their life on the line, leave their civilian job and join the reserves, and then call to combat. Yes, my friends, from the state of Georgia, but somebody do not love your children enough to respect them by flying the Georgia flag. Now, 
we know people gonna cr criticize me but will you criticize your pastor your imam your rabbi your monk your mom and daddy who won't say nothing about what i talk about this is why i say i report what others ignore have abc news nbc news cbs the valdosta daily times have they said anything about this no really 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 i'm not i'm not pointing fingers i'm speaking the truth and you have seen many videos that i've done many of them but you see this is what happens when the american people and whenever the citizens of any nation are afraid of the people that they vote into office to challenge them on doing what is right. I will continue to say, to me, it is a disgrace before God, man, and our children. Now get mad if you want with me. But if I would have died on a farm battlefield during my 20 years in the armed forces, they would have had a nice gun for me. I could have gotten the 21 guns. But look, today they won't even fly. Our Georgia State flag. Yes, I'm going to continue to stand up for the people, the city, the county, the state, and the nation that I love. God bless America and everybody else. Peace be unto you. Google Boston GBR on YouTube. And just Google Georgia State flag and see how they disrespect our active duty, disabled, deceased, retired military veterans, and the parents who lost the lives of their children, who served this nation in the state of Georgia. Bye-bye. Thank you.